Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Shadow Explorer software and what that does is it's similar to the Windows previous versions which is not available in all versions of Windows and the Windows previous versions what it does is it makes uh, periodic I guess you could say backups of uh, changed files on a periodic basis and you could actually specify how often that's done but like I said certain versions of Windows like the home editions don't have that feature enabled so you're kind of out of luck if you want to use it that's when you would normally go to you know right click on a file properties and have the previous version tab right there and then you could restore open or restore a file back from there so Shadow Explorer is a program that does the same kind of thing it, it looks at your previous versions because that service does run in all versions of Windows whether you have the previous versions tab or not and so you could use this program to go back to older versions of files and restore them or copy them to another location so you could retrieve your data that way. So there's two versions of it. You could do the download and install version. We'll install it as software actually running on your computer. Or there's the portable edition, which is just will be in a zip file. Then you could just unzip it and run the executable. And that's what we have here. It does the same thing. So once you double click it, say yes to that. And then it'll show your drives here. And you could see the state of the shadow copy backup was 10.5.2017 and here's what was on this drive back then and if you go let's go back or I should say forward to 10.11.2017 you notice there's not the same amount of files let's see if we can see what changed there yeah so this new fonts folder was there on the 5th and it wasn't there on the 11th so let's say we wanted something out of that new fonts folder we go back to the 5th and then we could click on it open it up and let's say, well, maybe we could just actually take the whole folder. Yeah, right click on it, export, send it to the desktop, and then we'll have that information back there taken from the shadow copy that was done automatically. Okay, so let's go back here again. Kind of refresh the screen here. And if we go on 1017, you could see the files changed again. We had this changed file here, so we could do the same thing for a single file. And this will apply to, you know, your C drive as well. Look, it'll show you the shadow copy dates, and you can kind of you know do the things sort by list and small icon and large icon, kind of like with you know File Explorer normally lets you do. So how many copies you have here will depend on when the service is running and how long it's been going on your computer. So I've been able to go back in the past pretty far, but this in this case it doesn't seem like I could go back since. Uh, 10 5 but I mean that's better than nothing if you had some files that you actually deleted and you didn't have them backed up so we'll have a uh, link to our description and write-up in this video and I'll also have a link to the page to where you could download Shadow Explorer and it's a really good thing to have installed on your computer just in case especially if you don't have the uh, versions of Windows that like I said don't support previous versions alright thanks for watching